Bailey and Killian just called me. So I had to run downstairs and talk to them for a minute. So, trouble with pets. Oh, goodbye, little bird, said Sister Bear. Fly away and be happy. On her finger was the sparrow that the bear family had taken in because it had an injured leg. Papa Bear had made a splint for it out of a toothpick and strips of tape. See the birdie? See the birdie up there? Brother and sister had named it Tweety and had taken care of it for about a week, but now it was time to remove the splint and let the bird go back to nature where it belonged. It hopped onto a twig, then took wing. Before you could say Tweety, it was out of sight. They're saying bye-bye to the birdie. Bye-bye. I'm going to miss our little bird, said sister sadly. Tweety was such a nice little pet. Stella, what you doing? Stella? Stella's up here helping me read a book to you. Tweety wasn't a pet, dear, said Mama Bear. Not a real pet, anyway. It was an injured bird that we had to help get well so it could go back to the forest. Why don't we get a real pet, Mama? asked sister. Other cubs have pets, said brother. Why can't we? Cousin Freddy has a dog. Lizzie Bruin has a cat. Too Tall Grizzly has a snake. Ooh, snake. Well, said Mama as they climbed the front steps, I am suppose it's something to think about. There, they're going back in the house after letting Tweety go. Stella, what you doing? Stella's being silly. Stella, come over here and say hi while we read our book. Come here, Stella. There's Stella. Stella likes this book. She thinks it's neat. Gee, Mama, said Brother, what's there to think about? There's quite a lot to think about. A pet is a big responsibility. A pet has to be fed and cared for and kept clean. What do you think, Papa? Well, I think a dog would be nice. I mean, you guys have doggies. You have Riley and you have Tay-Tay. But a dog is an especially big responsibility, said Mama. A dog needs shots. It needs to be trained and walked. And there are dog laws, a big dog about so high they can go fetch and play frisbee. We'll take care of it, Mama. We promise, we promise. We promise, we promise, we promise. Remember now, said Mama as they piled into the car, we're going to the pet shop just to look. Choosing a pet, especially a dog, is serious business. Speaking of dogs, said Papa, pointing to a sign as they drove by Farmer Ben's place, puppies available. See Farmer Ben. <gasps> How about that? Ben's dogs. Bess must have had puppies. Maybe we can look at them, Mommy. Please, 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 please. Can we look? Can we look? Oh, look. They're going to the farm to see the puppies. Before Mama could answer, Papa said, no harm in looking. Ben's dog, Bess, had indeed had pups. Five of the cutest roly-poly little balls of fur you've ever seen. Look at the babies. The babies. Farmer Ben picked one up and put it in sister's arms. What a beautiful brown eyes. Can we have this one, Mama? Can we? Can we please, please, please? Most pups have brown eyes, said Ben. But I do think that that one is the pick of the litter. It's yours if you like it. A gift from Bess and me. Look at the puppy they've got. Oh, look. What a nice puppy. Want to see my puppy again? Here's my puppy. There's my puppy. There's Stella. Chester didn't want to come up and read a book today. Of course they couldn't take their new pet home with them. It would need its mommy's milk for a couple more weeks. But there was plenty of puppy talk as they headed home. They talked about names. They talked about where it would sleep. They talked about how it would take care of it. Remember now, said Mama, you promised to take care of the new pup, to feed it and water it and clean up after it when it has accidents. Accidents? What kind of accidents? Well, we'll talk about that later, Mommy says. Brother and sister couldn't believe how lucky they'd been. A new puppy all their own. That night before falling asleep, they thought of so many wonderful things about their new pet. Sister thought dressing it in doll's clothes and pushing it in her doll carriage. She thought about introducing it to her stuffed toys. Perhaps they could all have a tea party. Oh, that'd be fun. Looky there. Yeah. Does Tay-Tay like tea parties? Brother's thoughts were quite different. He thought about winning the blue ribbon at the Bear Country Dog Show. He thought about how fine it would be to shout moosh as his great dog pulled him through the deep snow. 
But of course a puppy isn't a toy to be dressed in doll's clothes. It's a living creature with a mind of its own. It would be a long time before the pup could compete for a blue ribbon. It would be even longer before he could pull him through the snow. There you go. Can you guys get Riley to pull you through the snow? Will she pull you through? There were no questions about it. Brother and sister had a lot to learn about puppies. So Mama and Papa decided they'd take a trip to the library, and they got a book called Puppy Care. When the big day came, the Bear family had Puppy Care plan worked all out. First, they stopped off the police station to get her registered. Look. Look, they've got their new puppy. What's this little lady's name, said Officer Marguerite. The pup would, name, would need to be on the license, but brother and sister had not agreed on a name they couldn't decide. It seems to me that Officer Marguerite just named our pup. Little lady. Sounds like an excellent name to me, said Mama. So the pup left the police station with a name as well as a license. See, she's talking to the police officer to get her license. She looks very happy with her moon mommy and daddy and brother and sister. Next, a quick stop at the pet shop for a puppy harness and leash. Then a very important stop at the vet for a checkup. Little lady didn't like shots one bit. Kiki, do you like shots? I don't either. I don't like shots at all. Bailey, you like shots? No? Okay. They even sort of knew how parents must feel when their cubs have to have shots. Look. She went and saw the vet. Yeah. <gasps> They're getting ready to give her a shot. Oh, no. Now it was time to introduce little lady to their new home. The bears had already gotten food for her and had made a puppy box out of cardboard carton and old blanket. They had placed it in the box in the kitchen where it would be nice and warm with the door closed, of course. Puppies tend to get into mischief, so you have to keep them kind of in a little spot. Little lady sniffed all around the kitchen. Then she curled up in her box and went to sleep. Look. Look. Little lady is very sweet. At first, the cubs argued about whose turn it was to feed and water and walk the pup. It's my turn! It's my turn! It's my turn! It's my turn! You and Killian don't do that, do you, Bailey? No. no I didn't think so. But after a while, they began to argue about whose turn it wasn't. It's your turn. I cleaned up at the last accident. Nope, you did the last accident. I'm not doing it again. So Mama solved the problem, and she put a puppy care schedule on the wall. See? Oh, my. The poor little lady said, who's going to take care of me? Not that puppy was all work and no fun. Little lady was indeed a lot of fun. In fact, it was so much fun watching her that the bear family didn't watch much TV at all. She chased her tail, she did somersaults, and she fought her rubber dog bone. Oh, she looks like she's having fun. Look at that. Look. And she got into the strangest positions. Also, of course, she grew. And she grew. And she grew, and she grew. And they, instead of calling her little lady, they started to call her lady. Look how big she's getting. Look, she kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger, 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 bigger. Wow. Then one day, somebody forgot to close the kitchen door. Uh-oh. When they got back, lady had chewed up half the living room. Oh, no. Oh, look at the mess. Look at the mess. Oh. Mama and Grandma's puppies have done that before, haven't they? Yeah, they've made big messes. The time had come for Lady to have her own house outside. Papa built a fine, sturdy doghouse. Then he put chicken wire fence up to keep her safely in the yard. Lady loved her house. Look at her house. She was even more fun in the yard than she was in the house because she chased leaves in the fall and snowflakes in the winter and cherry blossoms in the spring and butterflies in the summer. Look at all the fun she had. Look at all that fun. Oh. And the years went by and Lady became more than a pet. She became another member of the family to love and enjoy, just like Tay-Tay and Riley. Right? Are they your buddies? All right. Oh, guess what? I put somebody to sleep. Somebody fell asleep listening to the, to the book. <sighs> Stella's happy to live here, too. I hope you guys have a good day. Grandma will see you next time. Love you lots. Bye.